My name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm going to show you how to take the polarizer off just about any display with just one simple little tool. One simple little tool, but Justin, you got it all wrong. You don't know what you're talking about because China told me that I need a bunch of big machinery to take off polarizers. I mean, you know, I got to stick it in there, I got to hold it down, I got to wind the thing, I got to do this, I got to do that. No, you don't. It's simple. You just need one of these. Um, this is a very cheap, I'm talking about like, I probably paid like $5 for this thing. Okay, I don't even know the wattage on this. It's probably the cheapest, lowest end one ever. All it is, is a little hot blade with a little attachment at the end to put in a, you know, like a flat blade. That's all it is. This tool right here is going to save you so much money, and I'm going to tell you why. I want you to take a look at it here for a second. You see that? That's called character right there. This thing right here, as cheap as it was, I'm pretty sure I've probably done three to 4,000 displays with just this right here, okay? So let's just cut to the chase here. Let's just jump on over here. Let's take a look at it, and let's see what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so... We have a Galaxy, I believe this is a Galaxy S7 AMOLED display, but it's got an issue. What is that? That's something we're going to talk about in a later episode and how to avoid it. But today, we're going to talk about how to get that polarizer off because that's where the damage is. So, the polarizer itself sits directly over the actual display panel on an AMOLED or like if, uh, if you're all like on an iPhone, same thing. As soon as that display panel stops, you get a little bit of adhesive, bam, it's polarizer time. So with that being said, we're gonna take a look at the polarizer in the microscope here, and we're gonna analyze it for a weak point, okay? There we go. Now, when you look at these things and you're just looking at them you know, with your naked eye and stuff, you can't really tell where things start and stop. You think, hey, this is one continuous product this is one continuous thing, and you know how am I supposed to take it apart? But if we look at it in the microscope here, we see that the display panel actually goes out a little bit farther than the polarizer itself. So I'm gonna take my fancy number 10 blade here, and if we take a look-see, well look at that. It really does go past it a little bit. Look at that, it's just coming right up. Now. That alone right there should give you your first tip. If you watched my last video, you'll know that the corner, that's the weak spot, okay? So I've got my separation blade here. It's just, like I said, it's just a super cheap hot knife. You can buy a nice one. You don't have to buy the super cheap one. I just currently have this one because this is the one I got a couple years ago and it's pretty much been you know good to go ever since. I mean, I've had a couple others, lent them out, never got them back. You know who you are. But, let's go ahead and jump on in here. So, this is a very, very simple thing. I'm, I'm really not going to have to, you know, do too much craziness with this to get it off. Let me just switch over to the regular overhead here so everybody can see it. All right. Get some of this junk out the way. So, if we know that we need to attack the weak point, and we know that the weak point is gonna be that corner because it's got the least amount of adhesion, then what we need to do is we need to take the hot broad side of this blade and we need to start right there on the corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down here and it started real easy, okay? Once you go under it, you're gonna to wanna to come in just a little bit and you're gonna swing it around. When you swing it around, it allows you to get up under the polarizer evenly okay this is the same technique you're going to want to use with your uh whenever you're doing your oka stuff um molly wire does the same thing if you just go in from there and you don't you know try and get around the side or anything like that you're going to end up ripping into the polarizer this gives evenness so now that we have it on there i'm just going to put a little bit of pressure in front of it you don't need a lot there's there's a hot blade in there uh, it's going to eat up the glue i'm pushing down on the display i'm rocking back and forth a little bit and you can see this is coming up with ease, no problem. Just rock it back and forth. Try not to let the bottom metal piece of the jig itself scratch the display, so you're gonna have it up at a little bit of an angle. 
once we get close to the edge, I come around, I grab the back, I just put a little bit of pressure down there, hold it down. Now here's the key. You want to stop maybe two or three millimeters from the end. Now why do we want to stop? We want to stop because that blade not only is sharp, but it's hot. We don't want to get up into the, the flex area. If you get up into the flex area, you could damage the entire thing and it's game over. So, I'm going to show you in the microscope here. We can see that I'm stopped right about there, okay? What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to stick my hand under the polarizer. I'm going to carefully hold the display down, and we don't have a lot of room for this thing to be adhesed anymore, so there's not really anything holding it down. We can carefully... Just peel it off. And look at that. It was literally that simple. So, again, this is a very simple technique. It's a very cheap tool. They last forever. I mean, I have had this for years. Like, this is my go-to. I mean, you can see how much love this thing has in it. Okay? Um, all you're going to do, just to recap, start at the corner, get it started, wrap it around, put a little bit of pressure on the display to hold it down, come up at an angle, and slowly kind of rock it back and forth. And once you get near the end, stop, pull away, put your tool down, carefully peel it up. That's it. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well, that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet, except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.